of BDR, Black Dragon Records, my record label. So basically I came up with the idea for this in 2015 when I was still under the Amsler's moniker. And then I was like, uh, I need to have a record label like all the musicians do. So I came up with Black Dragon Records. And so that means in the future, there will be the Black Dragon Cypher, which will happen every spring in April and um, then I feel like I'm going to be really com if it really gets big it'll be competing with double XL like like hardcore like I'm going to real have real hardcore competition with double XL in the future so that being said I, I believe that everything is going to go really well for the amount of things that I'm doing. And all for the people that I am friends with. Um, they are... I. Okay, first of all, Black Dragon Records started, so I came up with the idea for it when I was 15, right? So then, as the years go on, I'm like, I need to start signing people, kind of like officially but unofficially signing people. So, really, I'm going to be, hopefully, once my numbers get bigger, then I can actually have the correct paperwork to sign people. And then I will be able to have more artists signed and then I can become, I can flourish as an artist in this ever expanding music industry because there's always new artists that I'm finding on YouTube. Either through that, that through the, um, either that, be through YouTube, SoundCloud, or, or Bandcamp, or whatever, or even through YouTube ads. I, I find a majority of them through YouTube ads, and uh, so when I was, it was like last week, 2022, I was going through YouTube's Discover thing. So then I ended up finding Period and Tommy, and I was like, ooh, this song sounds really cool. I'm like, I might have to switch genres in 2023, which I have. Basically, um, skateboarding is soon. Tsunami 13 through 20 will be basically the cyberpunk or liquid DMB phase of skateboarding the tsunami. So I was like, I'm gonna start me I'm gonna start, you know, rapping over liquid DMB beats and some period hobby type beats and some pink panthers type beats for for that matter, you know? I'm like 
that's the whole theme of I can get of the uh, I can get you lit album is basically uh, put a twist on the liquid DMB music. So really, I'm gonna be getting the label set up in the future and the correct paperwork to actually sign people so then I'm not having like you know any trouble at all doing this so then I can have it kind of easy with this with signing people so basically that's kind of what I'm looking forward to in the future and then we're gonna be posting these on SoundCloud. And hopefully these get quite a few plays because I I really would like to see my numbers grow immensely. Like 1.6K in a day, every day. Like if I, if I get 1,600 views and plays a day, I mean, that's gonna be insanely great for me because not only will that increase my view count, but also my subscriber count. And once I hit a thousand subscribers, then I can submit my channel for monetization. And so then I can make some revenue off my videos and off ads as well. So there's that. Okay, back to the future of BD, of BDR. Every artist that will be signed to this can release music whenever they want. I'm not going to hold it back. It is your music, your production, your your thing, your creativity. I'm not going to get in the way of it. And you guys can do whatever the heck you want. I'm not going to be controlling like all these other managements and other labels and all that crap because I'm not going to be, be like that and because this is a free country and you should be able to do what you want especially with your music you can do whatever you want with it when you want so really I have decided that once you sign I'm not I'm gonna be like you're it's going to be kind of like a dependent, it's going to be an independent dependency label. Basically, I mean, I, I just have to listen to it. I just need to get, like, I can just listen to like a few seconds of each song and it doesn't take that long. So, I can then have people release their music right after I listen to it because I don't need 20 people to do one song. Like, that's ridiculous in the music industry. We don't need like 5, 10, 15 writers for one darn song. It's stupid. We only need one person and that is you. You are the only person to write, record, produce, mix, master, everything. Because it's your music, you can do whatever the heck you want with it, and I'm not gonna stop you. Because, and it's also your private property, technically, in a way. Um, I don't want to prevent people from releasing music because I feel like that's just rude of me being the um, you know, the, the the head of the label. And I don't want people seeing me as this horrible, evil, mean person, which I'm clearly not. And I want people to be happy in BDR or Black Dragon Records and let them have the best time of their life. All of us making millions of dollars. No one is in charge. No one is more powerful than the other person. Um, everyone is treat, treated the same and equally because I don't want to, you know, 
give everyone bragging rights because then it may make people feel bad about themselves and I don't want that. So I basically just think that treating everyone with, with respect is the best road to go down. And if you disagree with me, then you can stop listening to my stuff. But regardless of what you think of me, I don't care because that's just your opinion and what you think of me and it's not going to bother me a whole lot. I mean, it might at first, but then I'm just going to walk it off and pretend like it never happened. So there's that. And um, everything is really going the way I want it to go. And then... I need to get ready for work, so basically, in the meantime, I have things to do within the week, so this is only going to be once the new Pokemon anime starts, that's when I will start season one, like, official. Or, or it'll probably be weekends during the summer. We'll get it every other Saturday because I am off on every other Saturday. So that will be happening and you guys are, are probably going to be getting a lot of these episodes more often than not on the weekends because on the weekends I'm off, I will be able to record and release all of these episodes and not worry about, you know, ads or having to, like, you know, advertise anything yet or, you know, it's just going to be me and my brother talking and just talking, discussing stuff and we're going to be really getting diving into these topics that I'm going to be talking about in seasons 1 through 10. Because if you guys really like this series, I'm going to be giving you guys a lot more. So in the meantime, once this episode ends, I'm getting changed and going to work. And then tomorrow morning, I will get to 0 0.56. This will go up to 0 0.9. And then we'll have a week break or so. Or a couple. We'll wait till like. I'm going to wait till my brother is done with school. And then over the summer, on every other Saturday, and or Sunday for that matter, we will be doing an episode of 95.7 The Talk, and that will kick off season one. And I will be checkmarking them every time we complete an episode. So I know where I am, and I know where to pick up where I last left off. So the future of BDR looks very, very bright. And I think we're going to be going a long way. We're going to inspire a lot of new artists. Hopefully I can collab with Period Tommy one of these days. Because I would love to do that. That would be a cool little wrap over one of their liquid DMB beats. Or pop DMB beats. And kind of, you know, kickstart my career a little bit. You know, have those, have, have really having all those connections. So within the meantime... Thank you for listening and peace out. My name is Najee. Have a good day.